Hi guys, welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video. This is a very quick video to answer the question that has been sometimes put on my YouTube channel about mapping controllers uh, to the Asus Transformer Prime, such as uh, an Xbox 360 controller. I, I, I'm often asked, um, how do you map the buttons uh, to certain applications and games? And the short answer is that it's very application developer dependent. Try and imagine a games console where you're always supplied with a games controller. So obviously every game needs to use a game controller input. Well it's not the same on a touch on a touchpad device because you mostly use a screen. So it's very much an optional extra of a controller. Imagine buying a light gun uh, for a console. You would only use a light gun game on very few select applications and it's the same with the Android operating system and a games controller. So what you have to hope for when you buy a game is um, to uh, hope and check that there are options for a gamepad input. I've already shown this on SNES Droid, but obviously SNES Droid is a, a SNES emulator, so it needs a controller input. So I'm going to show you an application which is designed uh, for the tablet, or designed for uh, a touch device, but actually has a game in gamepad input as a, an option, and it's a dead trigger which I've recently uh, purchased and will do a uh, proper review on soon. So I've just plugged in uh, the Xbox controller and we'll just wait for it to load and then I'll show you what I mean, what I mean by an optional um, game input. Let me just turn the sound down a little bit. So if I go to options up here, and uh, there we are, a customised gamepad option. So it's very much an option that's within this application but it's not of course available in all applications and so once the um, controller is plugged in and the tablet knows what it is and clearly it does it can receive the input so if I just zoom in here a little bit hopefully you're going to be able to see what I'm going to do we've got these different options I've already actually mapped it but I'll do it again just for the purposes of this so I'm going to press on the top one so it's ready to map and then I will press the trigger button down and as you can see, it actually picked up that joystick um, mapping. Unfortunately, that was the wrong mapping, so I'm going to have to, have to do another one and change it back. And so I'll change it to the other trigger button. So as you can see now, that's changed correctly. And then I will go back to that one, and I'm just going to keep doing it. And so now that it's properly mapped, um, I didn't have to map, actually, the um, control D-pad. This uh, game seemed to know um, that that bit of it was automatically going to map to the control. So again, it was a bit potluck that that worked. But I'll just prove to you now that I've correctly mapped the buttons. So I'll, I will go and play uh, one of the levels very quickly, just to show you an example. Uh, I'll just start that one. And I'm just going to zoom out a little bit more to show that I'm holding the controller in my hand. So here we go. So now you can see that I'm moving forward and strictly using the controller to play the game. So that's just a quick demonstration that the tablet can accept a game controller, but it's very optional. You're not going to be able to do this with every game. It's very dependent on the game and not dependent on the whole device as a whole. There, there are drivers and there are some apps which can maybe perhaps do it but not uh, perfectly. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you do have any questions do please ask but I think I've pretty much answered what I want to uh, about controllers and the Asus Transformer Prime. See you again soon in another video.